Fearscape Media Network, exploring the unknown, one podcast at a time. Who is the Slender Man? Coming to the Fearscape Media Network, FSMN's first ever mega October network crossover event, The Slender Man. Featuring three of your favorite network podcasts covering the Slender Man in all his slender glory. On October 1st, you'll hear Ghosts in the Attic, Bodies in the Basement, covering the Slender Man stabbing, where two 12 year old girls lured their friend into a forest and stabbed her 19 times in a tent to become proxies of the fictional character, the Slender Man. On October 6th, Fearscape Paranormal Podcast will be covering the legend, lore, and creepypasta of the Slender Man. And finally, on October 12th, join the Misters of the Dark as they cover the 2018 horror film Slender Man, just in time for the Halloween season. Go to fearscapemedia.com or wherever you stream your favorite Fearscape Media Network podcasts. Happy Halloween! Support for the Fearscape Media Network is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer just for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code FEARSCAPE at manscaped.com. Coming to you from nowhere, a suburb of parts unknown, your ghoulish hosts for an evening of terror, Stefan Gearhart and Lance Wayne, the Misters of the Dark. <laughs> Friends, welcome to another terrifying episode of Misters of the Dark, the greatest horror podcast in the history of horror podcasting. As always, we're being directly to you from nowhere, a suburb of parts unknown. I'm your co-mister, the man with no name, Lance Way. And I'm your head, Mr. Lord Stephen Gerhardt. Blah, 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 blah. Lance, 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 come here. I got, I, um, I kind of did a bad thing. What now? Um, well, you see, what had happened was, uh, was after our recent tragic viewing of the 2018 film Slender Man, I... Yes, uh, yes, as part of the Fearscape Media Network Mega October crossover event. What of it? Yes, yes, yes. Well, you see, I, I couldn't help but notice the sexy lean physique of the title character and wanting to shave off a few pounds myself i may have logged on to the old internet reno and uh and, and well, what well i sort of invited slender man over you dope what what i i i thought he was the male equivalent of skinny girl oh stefan stefan Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. Yes. Stefan. Yes. Stefan. Yes. You've helped me out of many a conundrum. I suppose I owe you one. Oh, oh, thank the dark gods. Oh, Lance, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, 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 oh, thank yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just get through this review, and I'm sure I can come up with some kind of solution by the end of the show. Fantastic. 
Perfect. Sounds good. So, okay, we are talking about Slenderman because it is part of the Mega October crossover November December event. Man, whoever wrote that made it really really long. Yeah, um, yeah, they did. But as Fuck part, you. Of, yeah, uh, <laughs> probably that that other Stefan that's on Fierce mm. Day. Um, but as, as part of this, we're we're part three, so we are the finale, which is suiting since we we uh, yeah. make, we give people their life finale. Yeah, and uh, this is the this is the Mistress of the Dark Era of podcasting. It is one hundred percent. But yeah, so we've got the we're going to be talking about the twenty eighteen film Slender Man. Uh, but if you haven't heard parts one and two yet, we highly recommend going back. You can go to fearscapemedia.com. dot com. I don't recommend it. Just I do. To this one. Go Just to Ghosts in the Attic, Bodies in the Basement, where. Uh, Anna and Lindsay are talking about the uh, 2014 stabbing of Peyton Leitner, uh, where the two girls that were her friends stabbed her, blamed it on Slenderman, saying that if they didn't do that, Slenderman was going to kill their family and all kinds of stuff like that. We, Which, by the way, we are not reviewing the movie that was made about that event, Beware the Slenderman. No. I kind of wish we had been doing I, that one I, instead. I would, I would have rather watched a dead raccoon on the side of the highway fester i i've i've seen both of these movies and beware the slender man while not a horror movie is a far superior film anywho anything is far superior to this the room the the the, well that's the greatest movie well that the room it's apples and oranges but Um, uh, but yeah so that's part one if you want to learn about uh the the attempted murder uh, of a 13 year old girl um, and by her friends check out ghosts in the uh, ghosts in the attic bodies in the basement uh, fierce and I kid I kid I kid friends I I highly suggest you check out uh, bodies in the basement ghosts in the attic that, did I say it right flip it in reverse did it. I flip it? <laughs> okay that's did okay I, I always yeah. call you Lance Wayne the man with no name but it's yeah, the, yeah, the man with no yeah. name Lance Wayne I, I've yeah. known you my whole life uh, yeah. well your whole life and yeah. uh but yeah, so check out Ghosts in the Attic, Bodies in the Basement. And then for part two, uh, Fearscape Paranormal Podcast is covering the lore and legend mm-hmm. of Slender Man. So getting down to the nitty gritty of the creepy pasta, as well as influences uh, of where Slender Man picked up its influences from other ancient traditions and lore. Uh, we They talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the silence on there. That's all I'm saying. I, you know what? I thought that, too, in uh, the look of them. Isn't there like a Doctor Who? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, I think the uh, the Doctor Who one is called, I think they're called the silent. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. They're both very similar. The Buffy one and the Doctor Who ones, they're both very similar. Yeah. And they're both super creepy, um, which I would have preferred either of those designs over uh, this movie's design. But anyways, oh my God. Um, yeah. anyways, uh, so check those out. Fearscapemedia.com or you can simply go to YouTube.com. Uh, there's a playlist set up for the October crossover event or just stream wherever you're at. So uh, but yeah, so we got the uh, apparently the short straw here and had to. Yeah. Yeah, cover this. Yeah, the shit amazing, amazing film. And by amazing, I, can't, I, can't, I, mean I can't, horrible. Yeah, I can't. I can't even. I can't even be like sarcastic or anything. It 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 was. I. It was literally one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I've heard this. I remember when this first came out. Everybody just bashing it and bashing it and thinking mm-hmm. it can't be that bad. But I even have written here. I might even. I you know took notes. And I literally have written here. I don't even think I was 10, five, 10 minutes into it. I wrote, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> well, to give you an idea of where we should have already known, the director, Sylvain White, uh, his mm-hmm. first um, American film that he directed was yeah. the threequel, I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. Oh, my. Was that direct to video? Pretty, I think I don't even know. It was in 2006. I, it had none yeah, of the original I, yeah, cast. To, um, he has done some other ones. He did the Losers and he did Stomp the Yard. Those are pretty, pretty well decently. The, lo- the Losers. Yeah. Is that the the movie with Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it? Yep. Yep. Oh wow. So so he's done some studio like. Yeah, he's done he's know. done some decent stuff. 
Um, but I don't know. Well, let's not he, go that far. He, he, he should uh, not have directed horror. Um, no. But anyway, so that that should tell you right there. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Slender Man is a 2018 American horror film uh, written by David Burke based off of the creepypasta of the Slender Man. Uh, the film stars Joey King, Julia Goldani Tellis, Jazz Sinclair, Annalise Basso, and some more um, with Javier Bote as the title character. Uh, this came out, uh, was released in August of 2018 uh, and uh, grossed $51 million worldwide, but received negative reviews up the hey, hey, up the hey, hey. What was the budget for it? uh let's see are you gonna show me the budget they i don't see a budget so they don't even want to talk about it because i would just if when you said 51 i was just wondering if it was a bomb or not i always always assumed it was a bomb yeah i don't see you know it's funny because a lot of these pages oh there it is it had a uh it says 10 to 28 million i'm not (laughs) That's a stretch. That's a huge. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's, a, huge. that's a big difference. Like that's the difference between Evil Dead and Army of Darkness. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um. But, but I mean, so, regardless, I guess it was a. a yeah. I guess hit. it. I guess it made at least uh, you know uh, twice what it you yeah. know you know yeah. what it spent. So whatever. Depending on three hundred twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we'll we'll go on to talk about some of the the effects of the film uh, afterwards because I want to yeah. just jump right in and get this over with. Yeah, because um, if, if there's awful. any of our listeners that like this movie, find another podcast. I listen. I I, I always <laughs> I always I always say everybody's welcome to our dilapidated mansion. It doesn't matter where you come from, whatever. Blah blah blah. But yeah, I, I gotta agree with you. If, if this is your taste. I, Please, please, we we we're not for you. It's not here. here here's what I'm going to say before we even talk about this film. I thought all the actors did a fine job. I well, thought the script man. was decent. It is a classic mm-hmm. slasher flick. It's whatever. But the special effects were so awful to me. It all of the scenes with Slender Man were so god awful that it made everything else just suck. I didn't think there were any redeeming qualities about it. I'm sorry, so, and I hate I hate knocking actors and stuff, mm-hmm. but I didn't. I I, I mean, I uh, let's just let's get into it. Yeah, let's it. get into it. Let's just get All into right. it. All right. So uh, we're assuming you've listened to the legend and the lore, so you know Slender Man likes to steal children. He likes to eat children and kill children, shit like that. So I, yeah, perfect, movie yeah. opens uh, in a high school where we meet four best friends: uh, Haley, Ren. Uh, Chloe and Katie. Uh, pretty sure Chloe is uh, the girl from uh, the Sabri- the new Sabrina show. Um, she's the best friend that has the um, the witch powers. I don't. I, I, I didn't. I haven't watched all the Sabrina oh, shows. So. You should totally finish it. So I've, good. I've watched. Yeah, I've watched the first maybe. So five so good. Maybe we'll cover it sometime. It's, it, it, I really really liked it. I actually was not a fan of the '90s one, but I loved this one. Um, but anyways, so uh, they approach uh, a group of guys to ask what they're doing that evening. They tell the girls that it's top secret because, you know, boys in high school do top uh, secret stuff. Yeah. Don't want to get cooties. So I'm like, ooh, totally do. And I'm like, listen, these guys that they're hanging out with were not the guys that were doing Bloody Mary bullshit. We were. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were we were definitely cooler. But the, you know, the, the jocks and stuff fucker. were not doing this. So I already, no, this no. is where I'm already like, you are French and you don't know American kids at all. But okay, whatever. Yeah. Well, I didn't even have written down like, <laughs> like I said, I'm not too far. I can just tell from my notes, I'm not too far in this movie, and I already have. These girls are already annoying. I know. Uh, they, you discover that one of them is pregnant, right? Um, is it? I, I could, I'd swear, man. I this movie. I, I don't I I almost you know remember it's how, like it's dropped really lightly yeah. um, because she's talking to her parents so one of the girls is talking to her parents and the parents like so we heard that and I, I can't remember if it's Chloe or Katie I don't um, is know. the pregnant one I th- yeah I don't either because they hey, just I, drop remember, it and well, act remember, like it never happened remember how you were with uh the uh 
Ah, shit. The Romero film we covered. Amusement Park. The amusement Park. And you were like, I cannot fucking remember anything about this movie. This is kind of how I feel. There's a couple of... Th- I remember the really, really, really fucking dumb parts. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, I, I like I'm just drawing a complete blank. Yeah, well, and I don't think that's, you know, your fault in any way. I legit think that... I think, you know, the script was probably written and then a director or a producer came in and poorly edited a script or uh, stuff was filmed and they poorly cut it out for time or shit like that. Because there's stuff that's being given exposition in the beginning here that's never really referenced again. Like, it seems like a really big deal that this girl is pregnant. And then it's never mentioned again, I think, except for at one point, someone's like, so your boyfriend likes to have sex, huh? Like, or something like that. Like, uh, it, dude, was, it, was, it was dropped that. so lightly. Uh, but anyways, so uh, we've got uh, Ren then picks up Haley uh, up for the night to go to Katie's house along with Chloe. Um, at that point, uh, Lizzie, who is uh, her little sister, is like, I yeah. want to go. You promised me that I could go with you guys sometimes. I really want to go. She's like. 12 or 13 looks like. Yeah, yeah. And uh, of course, she's like, not this time, sugar. We doing something scary. So, you know, don't come by. That's not what she sounds like at all. But no. um, but anyway, so uh, they decide to uh, go to Katie's house along with Chloe. And uh, they hang out in her basement while her dad, <laughs> played well, by Kevin Chapman, is well, passed well, out drunk. They, before she leaves, uh, they ask, they're like... Uh, so what are you girls going to do tonight? And like jokingly, the girl goes, we're going to drink vodka and talk to boys. Oh, yeah. And then, and then like, you know, like she says it's sarcastic. But then when we find them in the basement, they are drinking vodka, and talking to boys. Pretty much. I just <laughs> rewatched uh, on the airplane the other night because I just came back from Kentucky from the uh, the Fright Fest yep. uh, horror convention. And I watched Nightmare on Elm Street, the original one. And yeah. I'm like, that's essentially what Johnny Depp does and Tina does and Heather does. Oh, like, I, I have it. I have it written. I have it written <laughs> here a couple of times how much this movie rips off Elm Street. In my yeah. Mind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so her dad's upstairs passed out drunk. He's worthless. Hell um, yeah. And that's why there was this part of me because I can't remember that if Katie was the one that was pregnant, I'm like, are they insinuating she, she might have been raped by her dad? Because it's insinuated her dad was some sort of abusive. They don't, never really don't, said whether don't, it was don't physical get or this movie. Don't give this movie I, the fucking satisfaction of going into deep shit. I know. Fun that's what I'm saying. They, d- they drop these things so quickly. God. Anyways, they're in the basement there because dad's always drunk, so they're never going to hear him. Uh, so the girls then discuss that the guys, they find out from one of the girls that the guys are trying to summon the uh, creature known as Slender Man. And uh, they discuss uh, that it is a monster known through the Internet that takes children. So most pretty much at that point, everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've heard of that. Pretty sure I've heard of that. I fucking hated this. I even have written. So you summon him via the Internet. That that is so fucking lame and stupid. It Mm -hmm. makes no sense because they're showing these pictures of the Slender Man like back in fucking medieval times. I know. It's so ah. stupid. It's like it's like it's trying to force down your throat that this is an internet creepy possible. Yes. Like but, but, we but got it. The internet. Oh my god. Think of all think of the fucking the whole stretch of humanity, the dawn of time. How long is it? the internet is a fucking termite? <laughs> it is a speck compared, to, you know, we have not had to just ah yeah. do you remember that movie? God, I can't even think of what it's called now. Um it's like it was way ahead of its time because it was like right when the internet first came. It was like fear.com or something like that. I've, I've I think Kiefer Sutherland might be in it. Um, heard of it. Just one of those films that was way ahead of its time trying to essentially say that monsters are in the internet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so they do that. They talk about the the lore and what everybody knows about it. Um, and one of the girls shows, hey, there's these videos that are online that show you how to summon him. Yeah. Um, and so the girls close their eyes as they wait to hear the tolling of the bells as they watch this video. I thought that um, was fucking stupid, too. Yeah, really dumb. Um, what's... Uh, and they, I mean, you know, if there's one thing I, I've always hated about movies 
is how just fake their websites always look. Yeah. They, yeah. it's like, do you guys not just get a, a normal graphic designer to just design something I don't know. that looks like an actual? And I don't know. And listen, this is the only time I'm going to give this fucking movie the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> but it, maybe it's supposed to be kind of like a dark web thing. Maybe. You know, and so it's very sure. bare bones and, you know. Sure. I mean, it's not like we're ever hired on the dark web. Never. Even though there were the Mistress of the Dark! Damn right. Damn right. They were just not the Mistress of the Dark web. That's <laughs> that's good. Ah, see, um, I, I, got my, I have my moments. But yeah, so they, they watch this video, um, and yeah, and they're just like, okay, well, that was dumb. Um, because I think only like one girl actually really watched it or whatever. Uh, but I a don't. week later, the girls go on a field trip to some random ass historical cemetery in some random ass small town that they're in. I think they're well, in did you? We're, we're kind of skipping because I, I even have it written down. Uh, did, did you like, uh, which I don't, I like I said, I'm not giving this movie the fucking benefit, but <laughs> did, you, did you see like whatever you watch the video it's like a bunch of flashes of shit and you mm -hmm. get the Illu the illuminati yes the illuminati fucking uh, symbol or whatever yes. what they, was up with they, that yeah they they created some sort of symbol to represent the slender man and they never explain it they never yeah. talk about it um but yeah there's so that again Whoever edited this fucking script, I, and I, again, giving the movie the benefit of the doubt that it was someone editing someone's work instead of just a really shitty writer, yeah. um, that there's all this stuff that you could see are the, laying the groundwork for what could be a pretty cool movie. Uh, it, you know, it could. It could have been, been a yeah. pretty cool teeny bopper slasher movie. Um, but I'm, I'm at, when we get done, I'm talking about why I think a lot of shit got edited. Um, yeah, I, yeah, and I, I bet we have the same thoughts mm -hmm. too about yep. that. I think uh, it would have worked better as a uh, which I mean that the, the, it's the basis for the show, but uh, would have worked a lot better. And I think didn't they discuss this a little bit on? Um, I'm gonna say it wrong again. Ghost in the attic, in the attic the yeah, but where uh, about Channel Zero? They did, which I laughed because yeah. I gave. I hope you're listening, Anna and Lindsay, because I laughed so hard because they were talking about the Channel Zero yeah. uh, creepy pasta, and then they were talking about. I think that there's a show that's an anthology show <laughs> that's that's built on creepy pasta. I, I wish that I could remember what it was called. I'm like, you guys literally just said the name because you're, which is what the the name is an homage yeah, to yeah. is the Channel Zero. Uh, creepy pasta. So they called the show Channel Zero, and I laughed because yeah. the candle, the candle cove thing. So I laughed so hard. Um, I love when you can't remember something and you've just said it, and it, it you wouldn't have never thought it because it feels foreign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I, Channel I, I, Zero I think, was good, man. I, th I think I think this would have worked better as a Channel Zero. Yes, season. I I seeing this spaced out over six to ten episodes, I would have much more enjoyed. Yeah, I would have much more enjoyed for sure. Yeah. 100 freaking percent. Well, they just they know what they're doing over on that show. Any well, not now because it got canceled or whatever, but yeah, they know. Like I said, they know what they know how to handle their shit over They're there. Stupid for canceling it. That last season with Pretzel Jack was my favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo, they were, Pretzel they were, Jack was creepy as shit. They were they were all pretty good seasons. Yeah, honestly. Anywho, uh, I'd so rather they, talk about anything. So, I know. Movie. I'm like, we got to get through it, or we're gonna be on here for four hours. Yeah, talking about other things. Uh, so they go to the cemetery. Uh, Katie all of a sudden becomes spooked because she sees something in the trees, AKA obviously skinny, sexy man. Uh, I skinny mean, Slender sexy. Man. Uh, after a while, she just, skinny, sexy, but... she just straight up disappears. Uh, and yeah. the whole class is left there for hours until the police show up to begin searching for her themselves. Um, and so we know that Katie's now gone, but nobody knows why except for us, the viewers. Yeah, um, we know it was sexy, skinny man. Right. Uh, so then uh, later on, Haley's in her room with her sister, Lizzie, when they hear a thumping sound coming from downstairs, uh, they get scared. So Haley goes to check it out like an older sister should. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's Katie's dad outside. Yeah. Wandering around some teenage girl's home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
What is it? He's, he's, he's hammered, obviously. What does he say? He says something like, did you get her into the occult stuff? Yeah, did you get yeah. her into the occult stuff? Did yeah. you make her a Satanist? Yeah. Um, but as, you know, asking if Katie was with Haley, he gets mad, uh, accuses, here it is, uh, accusing Haley of getting Katie into some occult business and occult tries to business. tries to attack her. Uh, the police arrive and Katie's dad gets arrested just as Haley's parents are outside and her father's yelling at him, blah, blah, blah. Um, so Haley goes with Ren. Uh, they go to Chloe or and Chloe and they go to Katie's house to investigate. Um, this was funny to me because it's so never would have happened this way, but whatever. Uh, so Ren goes to the front door to distract Katie's dad because they know that uh, Katie always used to sneak in through the back door. So it was always left unlocked and her dad never oh, used it. So I, it know about, I know unlocked. about sneaking through the back door. Believe me too. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, but yeah, so it was always unlocked, so they knew. So Ren goes up there to knock on the door and uh, basically is just like, I just wanted to see if you're okay. And I'm like, I guess he's out of jail. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if he got arrested or what, or if he was I just like, know. hey, you just attacked a child uh, and you're drunk. Go yeah. home. Yeah. Go, go yeah. home. Walk it off. Walk it off, it off. Pal. We know you probably may have done some horrible things to your daughter, uh, yeah. which would mean you're probably our number one suspect. But go home. Go home. Go Dude, home. Just just sleep it off. It'll be you'll drink some black coffee. Yeah. But instead, out. he's like, I loved her so much. Do you want to come inside? And Ren's like, yes. Yes, I do. I'm like, bitch, do not say yes. Your friends are trying to sneak in that back door. Say, how about we get some fresh air outside? Like, so already I'm like, well, this is dumb. Uh, yes, I didn't question the logic of any character in this film because I just wanted it to end. Yeah. So they the, the other two go in. They go to Katie's room. They take her laptop uh, and then they all leave. And then they get together. They look into the laptop. They find other videos of slender man encounters yeah. um which some of these slender man encounters were far better than the film yes yes like <laughs> i would have rather have seen the movie about that little yeah. kid basically saying fuck you slender man and he's like yeah. eight years old and his ass yeah. gets snatched up i was like yeah 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 just a whole film of like a found footage type just a bunch of random seeds of oh they, yeah, yeah. They, they, they went, oh god would have been much better but anyway so they see all these videos which i laugh too because they're all on katie's computer okay her dad's a fucking drunk which means they don't have very much money their house is small yet this guy i'm looking at all these videos and each video is one to five gigabytes a piece i happen to notice it and there's like 20 30 of them i'm like your computer is not holding all this Mm -mm. You got a cheap computer, ain't well, no way. Because I know you got all them Justin Bieber songs on there. Oh no, but Stefan, Stefan, did you notice? I even wrote it down <laughs> that Sony made this movie because every time they show a fucking camera or anything, they gotta show that it's Sony. Spider, uh, Spider Man. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't pop up. Which, which, which? Oh, wow, God, which is so. <sighs> Say Sony to me when we get to the final Slender Man scene. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Because um, I will forget. Um, so anyway, so they they are uh, looking through a number of these videos, like we said. Uh, they start to read Katie's messages uh, on a very generic messenger that God only knows what it's a messenger to. They didn't even try to make up no. a name like no. Slender Chat or Slender Chat or Purple It. Uh, nothing like SexySkinnyMan.com. Exactly. It's just a gray uh, chat. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Not even on a browser. It's just its own thing. Uh, but it, it, she's been talking to someone with the handle Alley Cat ninety three. Mm -hmm. uh, Katie'd been messaging her about how to deal with Slender Man. Um, and what what I found interesting is there's no there's no uh, helpful hints on how long the passage of time is because the movie makes it feel like. They did Slender Man on Saturday. On Monday, they went on the field trip. And then Katie's gone. And then either Monday night or Tuesday night, 
they sneak in and steal this laptop. But this shows someone who has been researching for far more than two days before she gets yeah. abducted. Yeah. I mean, this looks like six months worth of research. That, see, I, I'm not, I'm not even, I, I, they, they, they just, whoever wrote this or directed whatever, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Which, which and also again means that the other girls should have been hit by Slender Man before this. Exactly. You want to see a good, you want to see a good film? I'm just going to throw this out there. You want to see a good film that kind of, uh, messes with your sense of time and stuff and you never really know you know how long the characters are uh it came out right before the pandemic hit gretel and hansel is that what it was called yes boy that movie's fucked up yeah they they did a way better job i just want to like i said i just want to talk about anything else. that movie was fucked up don't even get me started on gretel and hansel i still Uh, have nightmares about some of that uh, was that was good. messed up. It was good. Uh, but anyway, so they're talking to Alley Cat 93. Uh, they find out. Uh, Hallie then sends a message to Haley, Hallie, whatever the hell her name is, talks to Alley Cat 93 to ask what they can do to get Katie back. Um, and <laughs> Alley Cat basically is like, y'all fucked. He's watching your ass. He demands a sacrifice. He re- yeah. he demands that uh, they must give up something they hold near and dear to them. Uh, yeah. Imply at for like so at first I'm like, is this like the fucking uh, Renfield of Slenderman? Because the way she's talking, it's like she works for his ass. That's the way yeah, Alley yeah, Cat felt yeah. to me in these initial messages here was that she was like, oh, he's watching you. He's already chosen you. He's coming for you. The only way you're going to appease him is by sacrificing something near and dear. Ha 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 ha. Not like, listen, you guys run now, but have something, you know, it didn't feel like that at all, no. which later on we find out was the case and it makes no sense. Yes. Um, but this movie doesn't make any sense. No. Um, so they decide, Hey, let's go into the fucking woods and blindfold ourselves. And, yeah, uh, I even, I even have written down where, where is it? Uh, this ritual makes no sense. None. They, they were not told how none. to do it unless they just, cut out that part of the initiation video thing. Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, but they decide to go into the woods. They've all got like personal items. They're all stupid, uh, especially yeah. freaking uh, Haley's, who's is just a post, a missing poster of Katie. I'm like, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Um, so, uh, but Ren, uh, so Ren says she's been doing some research on Slender Man, which again, I apparently thought this was like, 20 minutes after they did this. Uh, but apparently this myth must have been a couple days later because Ren's had time to do all this damn research. Yeah. Um, she did his research uh, on Slender Man and tells the other two to put on the blindfolds and to not take them off, even if they hear something. And of course, uh, because clever writing here, Chloe takes hers off and she runs screaming uh, because she thinks yeah. she hears or sees Slender Man. Uh, and then she actually comes into contact with him. And so this is our first real look at Slender Man. And it basically looks like he has a flesh colored sock on his head. Yeah. And uh, like, the, you know, because the, the whole Slender Man thing is he, he, he wears a suit and tie. Mm-hmm. But the way they did it was it was like the suit and tie. It, it's, he's not wearing a literal suit and tie. It's like they're just markings on his skin. Yeah. Like like the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah, and it's like, and the face, like, look, I know Slender Man has no face, but nothing I have ever seen has showed it to be smooth, like the question or uh, what's her name from Dick Tracy. Yeah. Oh, uh, no face. I think it's the name. I think it is too. <laughs> but it's Madonna. Either. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know, but I didn't like it because at the same time, it wasn't smooth either. It was just like lightly textured and it looks like they just didn't have the budget to smooth it out. So it just looked 
it just looked like a fucking balloon. Like it, it just yeah, wasn't it, good. It's no, like no. put some. That's why I said like the silence or um, the whisper people or whatever the other fucking people from Buffy and and from Doctor Who like give some ridges or yeah, like some yeah. things and just leave out the fucking eyes and nose like, and exactly. Mouth, yeah, um, and give yeah. some creepiness to it because it just looked dumb. Yeah. It looked poorly put together. And now knowing they had ten to twenty eight million dollars, I'm like. Did y'all just spend it on that final scene? Because I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. So which, which stupid. I, yeah, uh, I wasn't scared by this. I, at I, all. I almost I almost feel ill talking, re- talking, remembering this film and talking about it. It I I just. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, but she we're freaks keep out. Talking. Yeah, she freaks out. <laughs> uh, Haley and Ren find her because which another thing that made no sense. Her friend gets up runs and screams they don't they just sit there and wait you know. a bit they wait a little while and then they're like we should go get her yeah i'm like if i heard you fucking running and screaming i'm up i mean because either a i'm trying to save you or b i'm trying to save myself or both yeah no shit like uh, i'm not gonna sit there and be like Mm-mm, i told her no because you already don't know if this is real you already don't know if you trust we haven't gotten there yet so you're still in the skeptical point so go save your fucking friend these characters, Stefan, these characters, they, they're not written like real people, though. They're negative. They're, just, they're negative two dimensional. Yeah, they're just they're they're just they're 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 literally just. I I even have I'm sorry, I keep going back to the notes, but I literally have written down here. Where is it? Things just happen in this film. <laughs> they just do. Do you have you ever seen though? I mean, I've seen movies before where it's just like. And how can I explain? Do you do you get what I'm saying at all? Yes. It's just no, like one. That's why I laugh. It's not like a story. It's 100% true. Yeah, it's not like a story. It's just things. Just you're watching it and boom, boom. That just <laughs> things yeah, just like, oh happen. Okay, they just happen. Well, and then very, very, very predictable things also happen. Like yeah. I already knew that a one of them was going to take their blindfold off. I was sad it was yeah. Chloe because I love the actress. And I, you know, I've only ever seen her in in Sabrina and her character is way more badass. And so I was kind of expecting that not happening. Uh, And then I knew that she was going to lie about it. So she comes back and they ask her if she saw anything and she says no. And she was super chill. And she's like, I lost my shoe. Sorry. Um, And I'm like, "Okay, you're dumb. You legit just saw Slender Man and you're not going to tell your two friends who all three of your best friend just got taken, obviously, by the thing that just attacked you. Got no patience for you. I know. No. Got no patience for you. Um, and another thing about this fucking movie, I, I don't know if it was just the TV I was watching it on or what, but was it just like shot so fucking dark you could barely tell what was going on half the time? I I turn I had to turn the brightness up on my Did tablet you? all the way. Uh, yeah. And I was sitting in a dark area. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't tell what the fuck, not that I really cared, but I could not tell what the hell was going on half the time. Yes, I agree. So that was not oh. just you. That was not just you. So Chloe stops coming to class. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Uh, at home, she sees a video on her phone from the point of view of someone going through her house. Now, I thought this concept was cool. Um, it was interesting because you do. She's getting a, a FaceTime chat or whatever, a video chat. And it says from unknown. So she smartly presses OK. Um, yeah. And then she sees her house, um, which uh, we're just apparently supposed to know it's her house because they didn't yeah. do a shot outside of her house to establish that that yeah. was her house. But whatever. Yeah. Um, but she, the thing is moving towards the door. And uh, I expected it to open the door uh, because obviously it's got a camera in its hand, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. But it goes through the door. So I was like, interesting. You surprised me. You surprised me. But then I'm like, wait, so does the go wait, does Slenderman have a phone or does he just have power of the internet? Wait, is this lawnmower man? Like (laughs) Oh my God. That's what I'm wondering. But I did like the because it surprised me him going through the door. Um, that did surprise me. Um, Slender Man appears in her room, starts to choke her. She looks over in the mirror. Her own hands are on her throat, which I thought was a weird move i didn't um, even catch that i must have then or something it was like 
So are you establishing that Slender Man is just in people's heads? Uh, or that uh, it cannot well, be they corporeal? Say, now, I do remember, they do say, maybe it was a little earlier, maybe it's a little later, but they say something like that Slender Man is like a virus. He gets in you. This, blah, blah. Yeah, that's true. And, yeah, and, I, and, I, and I even wrote thing. down, I was like, so he's fucking Freddy Krueger then. Because you know, yeah. that was the whole thing with Freddy versus Jason that they were trying to contain him and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, you're right. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, good luck getting this fucker because I'm like just yelling. <laughs> sees her own hands on her throat. Uh, Ren and Haley later visit Chloe's house, uh, and she has her eyes appeared sunken. She has essentially gone crazy because of Slender Man. So she didn't. She didn't kill herself, I guess, because when she saw in the mirror that it was her own hands that made her go insane. Yeah. I don't know. It's very, again, uh, it's not explained very well. Um, so Ren goes to the library later on to try and find information on Slender Man. So we're actually seeing some research happen. Um, yeah. So the lights, of course, they'll go out immediately. <laughs> She's left alone. Yeah. Um, she turns on a flashlight on her phone, sees Slender Man lurking in the shadows. He goes near her, tries to touch her or does touch her. This causes Ren's face to disappear. Eh, I would have liked this. If I didn't hate the smooth face thing, yeah, I, I mean, I even, I even uh, wrote like that. It started out interesting and then just ended horribly, a lot like most of the things in this film. Yeah, because it also I reminded me a lot of um, uh, it. Yeah, the the, the library scene in it, mm -hmm. where but there's where's the library scene in it is very good and right, scary and interesting. It, this is just stupid. Yeah, and it was like, and then and then I couldn't tell. It's like putting the face on her. Is that causing her not to be able to breathe? Is that like what's happening, or is or is she just like you know uh, no face on Dick Tracy again? I, again, this this movie just does stuff. I don't know, and I didn't it like it because things. her fucking flesh balloon of a head looked worse than Slender Man's flesh yeah. balloon of a head. Yeah. It looked even cheesier, and I'm like, God, if you guys would have just put some fucking Klingon ridges on there, it would have looked better. I, 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 something. Jesus, man. Um, but she's bouncing all over hell, going crazy, uh, and then she stumbles into one of the library uh, employees, and all of a sudden, she's normal again. It's like, whatever. Yeah. Um, so Haley is then approached by one of the jocks from the beginning, Tom, which is her crush, uh, to see if she wants to hang out. Um, they do. While he talks to her, Haley thinks she sees Slender Man in the bushes. Uh, so Ren and Haley have an argument over Haley hanging out with Tom and avoiding their Slender Man issue, which I agreed with. I'm like, you're going to go have a fucking date while all this shit is happening. Um, and Haley then goes to Tom's house uh, the, that night where they try to hook up. But Haley gets freaked out by yeah, Nightmare I, 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 let, let's, let's Let's elaborate on this a little bit. Uh, yeah, I do. Because okay. I want to say the best part is, is that she throws it back at her face like, what do you mean you got fucking track? Or is that later? <laughs> like, Yeah. Uh, but like, okay, this girl goes to her boyfriend's house or whatever. I, I, <laughs> is it just me? Or is the girl acting like she has never been in a house before? Oh, I know. She's, she's like, what's oh. up? She's like looking around the house. Like, what is this? Is it, what's the, <laughs> that's a mantle. Ooh, a yes, mantle. I, like, what was the direction of this? Ooh. I, like, you know who she was like? Was uh, the blonde girl from Pink Floyd's The Wall, the movie, where she's like, you want to take a bath? Because <laughs> she's never been in a giant hotel room before. And she's like, oh, my God, look at this bed. She acts like she has never <laughs> seen like walls before. Especially she though, she's around. like, oh, so apparently you like music. Y yeah. Oh, my. God. Like, apparently, like. They're in the <laughs> living room as if this kid lives there by himself. This is his music collection. Yeah. Of course, the kid's like, oh, well, it's my dad's. But yeah, I like music. I'm going to play this sexy rock music that has no words. Check it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so, of course, they start making out, which again, I'm like, yeah, bitch, you've got two friends that are fucked up right now. And you're trying to fuck this dude. Uh, I like, got to tell you, though, the the uh, what, what is the make out jump scare was hilarious. Yes, so funny. It was so, it was so bad. 
It was Just so stop. bad. It was so so bad. Um, so yeah, so it there. Was like, it was like a it was like a Tim and Eric sketch or something. It was just it, again. It's like you have a budget. Why? Where did it go? It's like all they did was slightly like skew Tom's face. It was like, terrible. It didn't even. It was what like, a, oh. not even skew. I mean like. It's like they just took two pieces of film, laid them over the other, and then just kind of moved them apart a little bit. Like it wasn't it even was like so bad. I was like, is it this 1996? So- like, <laughs> what, is, what is this? And it just looked so goofy. It didn't look scary at all. But she screams anyways. Uh, yeah, um, that's what you do. So uh, uh, at Hallie's house, though, the little girl Lizzie, the sister, she ends up having a major panic attack and gets hospitalized. Um, she yells to Haley, he has no face, he has no face. And uh, meaning that, oh shit, she's seen Slender Man as well because Haley ran home after this thing with Tom. So yeah, um, so she's freaking out. Haley looks into Lizzie's laptop, uh, which boy, they love just getting into people's laptops. Uh, they see that Ren took her into the woods to make contact with Slender Man. Now, yes. I'm a, at the same time, I'm like, Ren, what the fuck were you thinking? Ren but, is the puppet master. Ren is Ren, holding the string. Ren holding is your Ren is your classic dark character, right? Yeah. She's the, I, I I wrote I wrote that honestly out of all of them, she annoys me the most. Yeah, but she's like trying to be more of the Feruza Bulk or the uh, Chloe Grace Mortise, you know, like yeah. Uh, and she yeah. always kind of plays those characters, but yeah, I'm like. What? So you couldn't get with your friend, so you're going to take her little sister. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Idiot. Um, And so, yeah. So she goes to Ren's house to confront her. Haley does because, ooh, you did not do this to my sister, uh, which now apparently she believes because Tom's skewed face proved things to her. Uh, but the door's open. She goes up to <laughs> Ren, like, the door's just open. So she goes on into yeah. Ren's house, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, she goes into Ren's room. I'm like, are any of these parents ever home besides Katie's dad who's just sleeping drunk? Yeah. Uh, but anyways, she goes up to Ren's room, finds a bunch of information, uh, gathered on Slender Man's victims. One of them she discovers was driven insane, was named Allison Riley, a.k.a. Alley Cat uh, 93. Alley Cat. Yeah. Now, can we talk about how dumb this reveal is? So she pulls out the um, the asylum card, basically the file on Allison here, and it's listing her date of birth. It lists her name, her parents, and then it says user ID Alley Cat 93. Who puts a goddamn user ID on your file at a lunatic asylum? Like maybe, what? maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it was like another alias or something. I guess, or maybe I, I guess if she's I, if she's messaging people that way, they know. Ignore she, me, because I I, I, I'm not I'm not giving this movie any fucking credit for anything. Okay, okay, but yeah. So, AKA, we learned that Alley Cat, and at this point, this is where I'm like, wait, I thought she was the helper. Of I, don't know. Of, I keep wanting to say Candyman. I'm slender. I don't know. Oh my God. Can we talk about Candyman? We should have. I wish we would have. Can we talk about Candyman? Hey, people, I wish we would have done that instead because Candyman, the new Candyman's really good. Uh, anyways, Candyman. it's really good. You know who uh, I'd like to show this movie to? Hmm. Joe so, Biden. I was about to say someone you hate. Um, so I got a few people in mind, but why would you want to show it to Joe Biden? Because he's so scatterbrained. I just think he would get really. I think he found this very amusing. It, I think this movie is kind of shot and edited. I think like he thinks like his brain. thinks. <laughs> yeah. So he'd be like, well, let me explain it to you. Okay. Yeah. They used to call them <laughs> tornadoes. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways. So, uh, so at this point, Haley then is looking for Ren. She realizes that Ren's about to jump out the window. Um, but Haley pulls her back inside. Ren feels super guilty for what happened to Lizzie, but tells Haley that Lizzie came to her with interest in Slender Man before they found out all this stuff. So she says, hey, we were just doing it for fun, just like we did for fun. Um, I didn't know. I'm super, super sorry. Um, uh, Ren then tells Haley that in her research, she's realized that Slender Man doesn't want their stuff. He wants them. At that point, Slender Man then pulls Ren through the window with his tentacles. Now, 
I want to say uh, uh, the legend and lore doesn't always involve the tentacles. Sometimes he has yeah. extra arms. Sometimes he's just a Slender Man. But I, if I was going to make a horror movie about Slender Man, I too would use the tentacles. So yeah, well, and they got said, uh, don't they technically uh, they got that uh, Doctor Octopus copyright or whatever too. So they you know they could throw that in there. I said, tell me Sony when we get to the yeah, final okay, scene. Okay, okay, I'm just I'm just trying to make you know <laughs> lemonade out of lemons or chicken so salad out of chicken shit. We're getting there. Um, so uh, Haley then runs into the woods to face Slender Man herself when she sees the creature. She tells him to take her so that Lizzie can be okay. Slender Man tries to grab her, but she runs for it. I'm that's like, what oh, I did. so you're lying. That's, yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly. Okay. Take me. Take me. Ah! Yeah. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Take backs. Yeah, can I, I do take backs? Um, but he uses his tentacles to move around like a spider. So I do want to say this is where I think they spent their budget because this was the best looking iteration of the slender man in this film was the giant spider i thought it looked the best but however sony it looked so much like dr octopus running it looked exactly the same they had him hanging in the i mean just like doc ock i almost wonder if it's like disney like how they used to steal from their own cartoons and just yeah. redraw over them that i yeah. wondered if they took the old dr octopus scene from spider-man 2 and then just refilmed the cgi over the top who knows i wouldn't put a past on man but it looked good though i mean i gotta say it looked good it was the one well, Spider-Man 2 is a fine film. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the only special effects piece that I liked in this whole thing was that that spider running. Maybe because I don't like spiders, but I thought it looked good. And because you didn't get close-ups of his stupid uh, flesh balloon head. Yeah. So, um, But anyways, uh, he, uh, he ends up grabbing Haley uh, and pulls her towards him. And then something really really weird happens and and i you know i don't ever remember this in any of the lore and listeners if you're listening uh yeah. and, and i missed this please give me the reddit link where they talk about slender man turning into a fucking tree tree turning um, into a tree I, turns I, into I, a tree uh and then Haley becomes fused to the tree um yeah that, I'm not, yeah. I, I'm like, why does he, so why does he let some like Chloe and Allison just go fucking crazy, um, but uh, eats others apparently like Katie and Haley? Um, I, I don't know, but it, the, it becomes, she becomes fused to the tree until there's nothing left of her. And I just thought that was really weird. And I'm like, are you going to stay? Is he feeding? Is it a feeding thing? Um, what is it? You know, I, I, I dude, I, because the interesting thing is, and the one thing that wasn't covered on Fearscape was that they talked about the Pied Piper of Hamlin uh, being a, a, probably an inspiration for Slender Man as well. And I'm like, OK, but he was stealing the kids to get revenge. And it's like yeah. none of this was explained. It's like they just assumed that you already knew who Slender Man was because you're 13 and, and you're I'm on like, the Internet all day. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't know. But anyways, so her younger sister all of a sudden wakes up in the hospital screaming for Haley. Um, and she's realized that her sister and her sister's friends are gone and the movie fades out. Well, and then she has like a stupid monologue like over. Oh, God, I forgot. And, and, about I, that. and I, yeah. I even wrote, I was like, who is she fucking talking to? And how is she talking if she's in the I, tree? Yes. No, no, the sister does. Oh, the it was. The, I couldn't the tell who it was. I didn't, couldn't tell who it was. It, it was the little sister. But still, who was she fucking talking to? I don't this know. This is the first time they do something. Ugh. I'm like, could they at least just shown her on a fucking subreddit or something being like tick, 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 tick. And that would have made a little more sense. But yeah, it was like she's just basically like Slender Man leaves enough people alive to leave the story out there and people are dying. And so that makes the legend grow even more. God. So that's. I will say of, I enjoyed the I, the movie. And I'm not saying this to be, but but I I wrote um, the end credits were more interesting than the film. 
100% agree. Because it was more of kind of what you were talking about earlier, where they're watching the clips and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was more kind of like that. That's interesting. Yeah, it makes you wonder if, if like, the, the side clips and the all the found footage stuff was kind of put together like a, an assistant director or something that probably should have been directing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's the movie. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the bullshit here about this. Well, this movie. was just I, honestly, and I mean, I know you can say this about a lot of movies, but this one I feel it's a little bit more of this or whatever. Mm-hmm. But this was just a fucking cash grab. It oh, just was 100%. You know, but it's, it's and, weird to me that it was a cash grab. Giving the fact, given the fact that two years or four years prior, the stabbing happened. And yeah. at this point, the court proceedings were happening that year yeah. <clears throat> when this came out. Yeah. The court proceedings had been in trial for a year or so, trying to decide the fate of the two girls uh, that did the stabbing. Um, the father of the victim whose life was nearly claimed. Uh, spoke out against this film, citing yeah. how they felt disgraced by Hollywood making a film that led to tragedy. Um, you know, and it even says during post production, Sony and Screen Gems were reportedly nervous about releasing the film because of all this, the negative publicity surrounding it, as well as negative responses to early test screenings. So there's two things that should have just said, you know what? Let's just put this Fuck straight it. to DVD yeah. or some shit. Well, um, I, don't, I don't even think I don't even think it showed in uh, the the town that the murder. Oh no, took I was going to talk or, about or that the too. The stabbing. I was going to talk about that. Yeah. Well, but this caused like Sony to release the film with like no promotional materials. Yeah. I think they dropped a trailer and that was it. Like they they really didn't put out a lot of posters. They just kind of was like, well, we 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 spent money on it. Let's just, you know, see if we can get some of it back. Um, but yeah, movie movie theaters in most of the areas of Wisconsin where the, the, the Slender Man stabbing stuff yeah. happened refused to show the movie, said that it was insensitive to the little girl and her family, even though the movie was not a portrayal of the actual events. Um, just they just didn't care. Um, but it says that um, so back in 2016, two years before this uh, came out, uh, Sony had started developing Slender Man. Of course, uh, people believe that the character was created by Eric Knudsen. There's still people that disagree with that, but um, they started working on it as far back as 2016, which tells you two years after the stabbings made huge headlines. They're like, we need to make this fucking movie. Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, prior to the release, the, the producers shopped the film to other distributors um, and they weren't really able to find anyone until they got screen gems that and screen gems. Then like somehow it says edited a ton to make it PG 13. Um, they, they cut these scenes over fears of public backlash. But to me, I'm like, make it rated R so that the teenagers are the ones not going the teeny boppers. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the reason people are mad because they're like, they don't want other teens seeing this because look what happened because girls yeah. read Reddit. What are they going to do when they see this movie? But they're like, Oh, we can't do this. Let's make it PG 13. So they apparently, according to uh bloody disgusting, cut a ton of the film. So there's our proof right there. I didn't even know that cut a ton of the film resulting in transition issues uh, among many other issues. Um, like just good Lord, man. Uh, let's see here. Reactions, of course, were just absolute awful, uh, saying that apparently Sony decided to take a traditional low budget horror route. And I'm like, that's giving it too much credit. Um, I don't ever want to say, cause there's some great low budget films. There are. That's what I was thinking too. I, I just, and I mean, you don't need a dummy like me to say this, but it's just like, you know, we've, we've had people on here before that, you know, are kind of indie, you know, mm-hmm. not studio, you know, that, 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 you know, don't have a studio backing them up that make good films. And yeah, they don't always have the money to make it 
look, you get what I'm getting at. Yeah. Here is a fucking company that put how much? 10 to 28 million behind <laughs> yeah. this piece of shit. You know, uh, you know, we've been bumped into some people at the con. What? We didn't get to check. We didn't get to check out any of their films because we were fucking super busy all weekend. It was a fucking blur. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, just people that really have a passion and just you know some of the scenes and some of the posters and stuff like that mm-hmm. looked a lot better than a lot of the fucking Hollywood. Well, and slums. again, look at the original Evil Dead. Hell, look at his 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 student film. Of the yeah. original, uh, what is yeah. it, uh, in, Into the Woods or whatever he called it. That's even better than this. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so this movie got released August 10th, 2018. I think it was maybe in the theaters, maybe two or three weeks because yeah. it was already released on digital HD by Halloween. Like it no was kidding. already, uh, it was digital HD by October 19th and DVD and Blu-ray by Halloween day. Like they were like, just get it, get what we can out of it. Just get what we can out of it. So, um, yeah. So, it just... Uh, it also competed against the Meg and Black Klansman, which uh, the Meg was a thousand times better, even though the Meg looked like a freaking Sci-Fi Channel original movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Black oh, Klansman, God, great movie, but not a horror movie, but it is super great. Uh, yeah, man. This film was just absolute trash. I don't even want to read reviews on it because everybody just killed it um uh it says that uh i will i will give this one david elric of the indie wire gave the film a d good job uh writing a tasteless and inedibly undercooked serving of the internet's stalest creepy pasta no, <laughs> slender sure. man yep. aspires to be for the youtube generation what the ring was to the last gas of the vhs generation but there's one fundamental difference that sets the two apart the ring is good and the slender man is not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. Do you think, do you, you think, <laughs> do you think slender man's the kind of character that can carry a film? I mean, he's tall enough. Oh, Jesus. I do. I do because I have played a number of slender man games okay. um, and they're freaky and creepy as shit. Um, I, uh, one of my favorite podcasts, horror podcasts is the black tapes. And the very first episode has a slender man character in it. And it really disturbed me. Uh, the, and that was an audio and here's a character that doesn't talk and, yeah. it, and I'm listening in audio and I'm freaked out by it. Anything yeah. that steals children. I mean, just all you got to do is really focus on the original lore that uh, Nudson was inspired by to create Slender Man and really pull from some of that, like really pull from some of that and have some fun. Um, and the truth of the matter is, I said, I, I think if they would have done a rated R film like they wanted to, given us some better scenes, made the Slender Man face look better, mm. I think it could have been an all right film. Like, I just, I don't, I don't think, man. It's hard for me to dislike horror films. Yeah, obviously. I know. And I, just, I did not like this at all. Yeah, I, I just, man, I, I just don't know. You would have to. And I, I know that they want to keep his backstory ambiguous and, you know, a mystery and stuff. But, man, you just, you, you got to add some background, I think, in order for Agreed. them to make us. I you mean, gotta, Jesus you don't Christ. Have to, you don't have to, you don't have to fucking map out every well, little it's detail. Like, how many times have we seen Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man's fucking origin? Yeah. Why have we seen that 40,000 fucking times in every goddamn film they're in, yet we don't see Slenderman's? Yeah. Like, we don't get a real backstory for Slenderman, the guy that needs it? Well, yeah, and I mean, just give them, give them, just give Slenderman something. Like, say, I like, mean, it has, was like, literally five extra- seconds. Of, yeah, of get, say he's like maybe maybe hint that he's like some kind of extraterrestrial or right or some or, fucking ancient god or, yeah, or jinn. something like the 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 only thing that really stood out in that ten seconds of history on Slender Man was Pied Piper of Hamlin, I guess because yeah. that's the only piece I'd never heard before. Yeah, like other than that, they didn't really do anything like because they wanted to show their their little video clips, which you know were good, but. Yeah. yeah, but I do. I really do. But is it going to happen now? No, because there's been a couple other Slender Man films that had lower of a budget that are even more awful. 
Um, and then, of course, you've got the Beware the Slender Man movie, which is really, really good, but it's really not about Slender Man. I mean, it's like, no. you know, uh, it's really about those girls. So is it a documentary? It's a docu film. OK, I mean, it's actors. It's it's, you know, OK, it, it's really I've, good. I've, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. It's a good film. I mean, and it really I mean, these girls, they play the hell out of the two girls that that did the set. They do really well um, because mm. I did watch a documentary um, because there is a documentary. I think it's on Netflix. That's about Slender Man uh, and the stabbings and stuff. And then after that was done, I watched the movie <clears throat> and um, yeah, they did a they did an excellent job. And the director did a really good job of literally filming similarly the way like the police cams were set up in the interrogation rooms. Cause you know, all that shit's public because they got convicted. So they're in jail. So it's all public. And yeah. so, yeah, they, they did a really good job recreating those where she's, you know, yelling and screaming at the camera when no one's in there and, and just craziness, dude, it's really yeah. good. It's really, really good. But anyways, so I don't even think we need to rate this film. Cause yeah, I was going to, I was going to add, no, I just want to write it just cause it pisses me off so much. So I, I, I'm, first you yeah, I'm going to give it a point one uh, star because, because I liked the the spider scene. I thought that was cool. Uh, that's that's it. That's it though. I'm Point just gonna, one. I, I'm, I'm I'm giving yeah I'm giving it half half a star, just because that make out scare made me laugh so hard. <laughs> and that's, that's not one what of the it fun- was supposed to be. I know that's uh-huh. one of the funniest things I've seen in a while. So so um, I will say because we've reviewed it and I invested time in it, if they decide to release a director's cut or an extended cut where they put in the old scenes. Cause I mean, again, here's now an IMDB where they're saying they removed many scenes from the final cut. I will check it out again because I felt like there was a good script hiding in there. I don't, man. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) I'll watch it for you. So you don't have to. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Okay. I can do that. Yep. So, uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it about Slender Man. And with that, dear friends, we come to the end of another delightfully disturbing episode of Miss Thunders of the Dark. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you to the Fearscape Media Network. And thank you to Corey Adams and Ashley Jones Adams from Nothing Wrong for our musical theme. Oh, Oh, God, Lance. Oh, God, Lance. It's skinny, sexy, slender guy. Oh, God, it's him. He's here. Don't worry, Stefan. I believe I found a suitable replacement. But, Lance, it's only me and you here. Stefan, don't ask questions. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, Menard! Oh, God, no. Oh, my God, back on the show. I'm certainly not going to let you fellas down. No, sir. Oh, oh. It's very nice to see you too, Menard. No, it's not. No, it's not. Lance, can, um, can I talk to you for a second? Just over here, just over here in the corner. <laughs> we'll be right back, Menard. It's just, we're going to turn around for a second. Didn't we watch him die? Shut up, Stefan. Now, Menard, there's a gentleman I think you are going to get along with famously. He may seem a little little intimidating at first, but... Oh, I just love meeting new people. Maybe I can even show the taco tent. You spread the cheese and this Oh, I'm sure he'll love it. Yes, he is. He's going to love it. He needs some meat on his bones. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Lance. Thank you. But before we go, dear friends, I will leave you with this. There is no weight limit on beauty. Good night! You spread the cheese and fizzle. Problem solved! (laughs) Ha ha!